Raygun is a class-leading error tracking solution that gives you the information you need to monitor your app's health and diagnose errors as they occur. It's amazingly easy to send errors from your Node.js application to the Raygun service, and in this video I'll show you how to do exactly that. I'll be adding it to a new app which uses the powerful Express.js framework on top of Node. Node.js is one of the hottest ways to build network applications, and it's no secret that Express.js provides an amazing abstraction layer over it. The Node ecosystem is still relatively young, although as its popularity explodes, more and more libraries are becoming available to address the gaps. One issue where help is desirable for you as a developer is in the error and exception handling. Fortunately, with Node and Express's modular architecture, it is easy to plug in new features. One of Express's most powerful features is the ability to chain added functionality to our app's request handler, as provided by the underlying connect.js middleware framework. I'll be using this to add Raygun with the provided error handler. I'm going to run through this step by step, but quickly, so forgive me if this is familiar territory. First up, I'm going to run the command express sample app to generate the sample project structure for my application. And then I can change into the new directory that it's just created, and then in my text editor I'm going to open package.json, which is over here. So here is what it's created, now we need to add a new dependency, and that is raygun itself, and the version, which will be the most current. There we go. So that's saved. After running npm install, that will grab the Raygun package. Okay, so that's finished. Let's see what it's generated by running node space app, and that started it up. So going over to our browser and local host 3000, and there it is. So there's not much here at the moment. Let's go back to the terminal and load up app.js. So here's our app. It's time to add Raygun to it, which is only going to take a couple of lines. Firstly, include the Raygun dependency, like so. And now the init method takes your API key, which is going to look something like this. And that's where we're going to need to paste it. Now to grab this, we need to go to Raygun dashboard and get a new API key. So we'll just sign in. And then once we've signed into the dashboard, we, need, we can create a new application by clicking on the plus button up here. So we'll give it a name. And down here we can select the email error notification options. We're just going to turn both of them off for now. And here is a whole lot of documentation on the many different ecosystems, so you can check out the node.js one, but all we want at the moment is the API key, so we just copy that from up here, and then back in our text editor we can paste it in. So that's done. So there's only one more task and then we're ready to go, and that's add the error handler. So as you may have seen before, here is the uh, middleware handlers. So we're going to add a new one down here for Raygun. One is provided, so all we need to do is go raygun clients dot express handler. And that will pick up all other errors that fall through to there. So now to demo this, we're going to create a synthetic test error as a new piece of middleware just above it to quickly fire an error. This can be done like this. I'm just going to paste this code in. And so that will cause an error to happen when it reaches this function. A proper error will of course bubble up the chain to hit the Raygun Express Handler here. And one thing which we will of course need to add is the require statement. We need to import the library. There we go. So now we can go back to our client and run node. And now it's ready to go. So if we go back to the tab hit refresh, works just as normal, but if we visit a site that doesn't exist, we're going to get a 500 error. So that's pretty cool. That would be bad for a user to see, but now with Raygun embedded, we know about it instantly. So let's refresh the dashboard. And we've got one active issue. There will be historic data here, but there's none yet. But here's an error here that has been reported one minute ago. So we can click on it to drill down into it. 
Vital stats are available in the summary, including the stack trace. We can see exactly where the error occurred. We can also examine the data, including the environment for the host machine, and also the HTTP request information if it's available. That's all for now. I hope you found this guide useful. Feel free to leave a comment here or in the support forums at raygun.io.